If you want to know what makes a network switch really tick when it comes to SDVOE, I hope you can all sit down and join us for this presentation here. We are going to talk about the real infrastructure around SDVOE. And so SDVOE is a technology where we are able to encode a HDMI signal or any video signal and then move it onto a network. We call this AV over IP or networked AV. And I'm gonna talk about the backbone of every AV over IP system, which is the network switch. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. It's the AV over IP background, our backbone. It's the networked AV backbone. Um, when you have a network AV or an AV over IP system, the network switch is crucial as every single signal is routed to that switch. So today, um, my name is Tom Devine. I'm with AV Pro Edge, and AV Pro Edge is a contributing member of SDVOE Alliance. Uh, we utilize their technology and their solutions for our video distribution um, system called MXNet 10G. It is a complete ecosystem, including the encoders, decoders, and what makes us different is we have that network switch all under one ecosystem. So looking at where a network switch fits into the system. As you can see, we have a diagram behind us. And if we look on this side right here, you see the four HDMI sources on the left-hand side. This is where the signal originates. And it comes in through an HDMI cable into our TCVR uh, with SDVOE. You don't have to buy an individual encoder or decoder from MXNet. You can actually buy a transceiver, which then you can select if it is an encoder or decoder. But that goes in to the big thing in the middle here, the network switch. And that network switch, as you can see, connects all the TVs. And so the network switch does all the routing. It um, allows signals to flow back and forth through control, through USB, and through HDMI. HDMI gives us audio and video. So now, with the whole entire system, you can see if something happens to that network switch, what happens to the system? It breaks. It does not work, right? Because every single thing is going to that network switch. And that, that's why that switch is so crucial um, to AV over IP and SDVOE. So meeting the specs, what do you need out of a network switch? Why wouldn't every single network switch work with for 10 gig? Well, the real reason is audio video signals are taxing. They're high bandwidth signals. If it was easy to move HDMI and video around, everybody would do it, but it's not. It's actually very challenging. And why is that? When we send emails or we use the internet, we're using at a one gig um, infrastructure at most points. When we go to video, if we want to send an uncompressed signal, it can go up to 18 gigabits per second at 4K and even to 48 gigabits at 8K. Well, SDVOE allows us to get that leg up and gives us a full 10 gigabits to push signals through. That means for 4K30, we can send uncompressed signals. And so that is a very taxing signal. And what can happen is if you have a network switch that isn't able to handle the bandwidth, you will have problems with your video distribution. The higher um, bandwidth of the signal comes into your system, the harder it is for you to implement it throughout the TVs and the different places in your installation. So the importance of design with multiple switches, right? How do we get this bandwidth that happens from the transceiver or that comes from the transceivers um, of the sources and goes into our system? Well, a lot of times, one network switch will work, right? We have a 12-port switch at our switch at AV Pro. We have a 24-port. We have a 48-port. You can find different switches from all these great manufacturers all around here at different sizes. But many times, you're going to have to implement more than one switch to a system. And when you're implementing more than one switch to a system, it is not 
just a simple plug and play. We need to be able to manage how much bandwidth goes from one switch to the other because every single source contributes 10 gigabits of bandwidth to the system. If I'm not, if I have 10 sources on one switch, that means I need to move 100 gigabits over to the secondary switch. If we're not able to do that or you do not set that up properly, you will not be able to ch show every single source on all the connected TVs. So what do you have to do? You have to balance bandwidth. And so we need to balance that bandwidth from the different switches that are connected. What else do we need to do? We need to know the type of switch we're using. As we said, you need to meet, move large amounts of data up to over 100 gigabits per second from one switch to another switch with a lot of sources. So you need to understand how much bandwidth your switch can pass on to the next switch. How much bandwidth, this has to be bi-directional, these signals can go back and forth. How do you know what those specifications are? You work with your manufacturer. Now, with our decoders, it is a little bit easier. We can balance the load a little lighter, uh, it uses a little less bandwidth, and we only need one for each display. So really, the balancing of our units all comes from our encoders, as we can see right here. With AV Pro, AV Pro manufactures their own network switches. So we have our um, AV over IP platform called MXNet. And you have to have your encoders and decoders. But what makes us different is that network switch. By having that network switch, you now have the entire ecosystem ready to go. And even more so, if you bought a network switch from, that was meant to be used with internet and IP and normal IT infrastructure, well, you need to be able to get into that switch. You need to be able to configure it properly. And while that isn't always extremely hard, it is extremely easy to mess up. So you do have to have somebody that's very knowledgeable about the network switch. With AV Pro, that is not the case. Our network switches are built for audio video signals. Out of the box, you can immediately route an audio video signal like a network switch. If you wanted to use our network switch for different types of infrastructure, like your standard e -net, uh, emails and um, internet, you would actually have to configure it for that because ours are configured for audio video. We are all audio video professionals and we're at AV Pro, we're de delivering audio video solutions to you. And that is um, through that network switch. And because the network switch is um, owned by MXNet and um, all a part of the same AV Pro system, that means with our web GUI, you only need one and you can actually manage the switch, how much data is coming out through every single port, set up VLANs, all in the same system that you're able to configure EDID, set scaling, and um, switch your sources. So how big do you need your system? That's the question that you want to make right away. And as you can see, these are our network switches, our 10 gig network switches. And if you used our top one, that's perfect. You can put 18 endpoints. An endpoint is... Uh, a uh, transceiver uh, going to a source or a TV. With our 24 port switch, we can actually go up to 32 endpoints by using breakout cables. And for our 48 port switch, we can actually have 72 endpoints on one switch. So this allows you to make really large, massive, deployed SDVOE systems for commercial applications um, where you still get uncompressed video zero latency and the best imaging that you can get through AV over IP. So interoperability, does it all work together? You know, in audio video, we have all of our companies around here creating solutions. How are all of our solutions working together? SDVOE is a main part of that, having a standard and alliance that we can all use. Um, AV Pro also wants to be with that as we get together with all our manufacturers, Sony, LG, Samsung, um, all of the other distribution and control partners like Control4, Crestron, QSIS. These are all people that AV Pro work with on the regular, so we are interoperable with the other type of products that you're going to find. But even more so, 
Our network switches are built for AV. That means if you have another brand of SDVOE encoders and decoders that you needed to work with because you trusted them and you liked their brand, it wasn't AV Pro, hey, that's okay. You can still use the MXNet network switch as the backbone for that installation as well, and it is ready configured for audio video traffic. So your system is only as strong as your network switch. Um, that's all I really wanted to say here is that you need to have a network switch that is gonna fit your solution, that it's going to work properly with the encoders and decoders that you have, and the best, easiest way for you to do that is by contacting AV Pro Edge, talking to our professionals. We would be happy to help you design your system to ensure that all your sources and sinks are going to work properly with your control system. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, um, and I appreciate you um, checking out our video. We're having a great ISE 2024. As you can see, I'm already losing my voice a little bit, but don't worry. I will get it back, and you'll see me on the next video. All right. Thanks, everybody, so much, and uh, have a good show.